Hi, I'm registered dietitian Kelly Jones and welcome to my Fit Kitchen, where I'll be sharing recipes and plenty of tips to help you fuel your active and busy lifestyle. Today, we're starting with the most basic of information about macronutrients. And yes, that's what they're actually called, despite the fact that some millennial decided to start calling them macros. They're macronutrients and we've learned about them in science classes for a really long time. Our three macronutrients are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. They all provide us with energy and they're things that are necessary for everyone, whether you're active or not, even on your rest days. Contrary to popular belief, if you pay attention to the media much, carbohydrates should actually be your primary fuel source. They're a really important source of energy for the brain and your muscles, along with plenty of other body functions. We actually store carbohydrates right in our muscles so that they're ready to go as soon as you start exercising, especially for high intensity activities. And you're gonna store some in your liver so that they can help you maintain normal blood sugar levels in between meals, when you're sleeping at night, and for longer term activities too. It's really easy to identify which foods provide you with carbohydrates. Other than the carbohydrate in dairy, lactose, any other carbs are going to come from plant foods. So you're gonna be getting carbohydrate rich foods like vegetables, whole grains, fruits, nuts and seeds, and legumes too. And it's totally okay to eat some refined carbohydrates here and there, I promise. Now let's chat fats. They give you more energy per gram than carbs and proteins, and they're really important to satiate you or help you feel full after you eat. In addition to providing energy for exercise at low intensity and longer duration activities, they're also really important for joint protection and lubrication, allowing for proper inflammatory responses so that you can recover well, and they support brain health. When we're choosing fatty foods, you're going to get all fats in your diet, but aim for foods that come from plants, like nuts, seeds, avocados and olives, and fats that come from fish, like salmon, tuna, and even sardines and anchovies. Rather than provide a significant amount of energy, protein is best suited as a structural and metabolic macronutrient. Protein's obviously building and repairing your muscles, but it also builds and repairs your organs and tissues and supports the framework of your bones. Protein's also building immune system proteins like antibodies, hormones and enzymes to protect you and to be able to support your metabolism. Obviously, we're getting protein from meats and poultry, right? But in addition to that, you're also gonna get protein from eggs, soy products, beans, peas, and lentils, nuts and seeds, and even from whole grains and vegetables too. If you have more questions on macronutrients, let me know and I'll answer them in future videos. For now, get recipes and more tips at kellyjonesnutrition.com.